Oh okay, guys, this video I'm going to talk about Fibonacci sequence. There is three different kind of sequence. One is arithmetic, one is geometric, one is Fibonacci sequence. So well, what is Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence is a sequence which any two number, which any two number, adding those two number gives you the third number, okay? Or third terms, I should say. Any previous two terms, some of previous two terms will give you the next term, okay? So that's the definition of, okay? Look here some of the previous two terms gives you next term okay so let's figure it out can we do that so well no matter what or which angle we look into right this is going to be always true what this is going to be your s sequence one this is going to be your sequence two this is always true in fibonacci sequence okay in order to be a sequence three sequence three it should be add of the previous two it should be the adding a uh, sum of previous two s2 plus s1 what does it mean so we have to add these two so 12 plus 19 it should give you 41 that's how you find the Fibonacci sequence now i want to find out the next term so i have to do 41 plus 19 and that should give me a 60 that's how i can figure out as many missing number is requested you know, for the Fibonacci sequence okay now Fibonacci sequence is there any general term yes absolutely there is a general term okay so what is the general term general term is s sub n is equal to s n minus 1 in other words previous sequence previous sequence plus the previous sequence s n minus 2 okay so that's how we actually figure it out or given like that here as you see this is called general term g e n e r l general t r n term okay so look if i want to figure it out my third term s of three look what is happening here s n is changing to three plus s n is three minus two so what is happening here i want to show you here s2 plus s1 and i clearly know what is my s1 s1 is 7 plus s2 is 12 and my s3 obviously is going to be 19 and that's how you clearly see down here so that is my s3 down here 19 and I know my S1, I just plug it in here. I know my S2, I just plug it in here. And that gives me the next number. So that is how we apply the general terms of Fibonacci sequence. Okay, let's take a look on the next one. Actually, I have two more right here. Okay, so well, is there anything? Well, look at this here. This is your S1, all is true. This is your S2, this is all is true. We are looking for this one. So you know what? We can just clearly see. Well, actually, I want to inspect. I don't want to jump, jump into it, right? So I want to see this two. This two adds up to the next one. So negative 19 minus 18. And obviously, it gives me this. Yeah, that works. Now, if I somehow add this two together, I can get the next number, which is negative 55. Okay? And, well, again, how, how does it happen? 18 pl plus negative 37 it should give me negative 55 now how i'm going to get the next one i can say negative 55 minus 37 or negative 55 plus negative 37 that should give me a 6 negative 92 negative 92 so negative 92 that's how we find the missing one okay how about this one same s1 s2 s3 this adding is going to give you the next one as you clearly see adding this two is going to give you the next one you clearly see so adding these two it should give you this one here so 11 plus 8 is 19 now you add those two it should give you 30 which was straightforward as you see i hope you understand okay so that is how we find the fibonacci sequence a missing number given okay thank you